These macroeconomic charts will blow your mind. Let's dive right into the rising interest rate story, which is the biggest story in finance right now. The Federal Reserve spiking the two-year Treasury yield. Federal funds target rate absolutely spiking to prior to where it was before the financial crisis, before the debt bubble got even bigger. And so this is causing disruptions all around the world. Oxygen just being pulled from the financial system. People gasping for breath. Look at the drawdown in global liquidity. It doesn't look that big in the white line, but on a percentage basis, liquidity never goes down more than it has here. You can just see the slope of that curve. Find me another time in the last 15 years when liquidity was drawn down this fast and didn't immediately rebound. And you can see how correlated that is to crashing stocks. We have seen a crashing stock market. The question remains, what is next? Well, this is an indicator of where things are going. We have USA non-farm payrolls in light blue, still high, but look at the dark blue line, which payroll growth month over month follows extremely well, is extremely closely correlated to. NFIB hiring plans, momentum crashing down to the pandemic lows getting there down to global financial crisis lows. No one is planning on hiring, which means we can expect the unemployment rate to skyrocket, which we know is probably the worst thing that can happen to any economy when companies stop hiring and people are unemployed, right? So we're careening towards this financial collapse. This is just one indicator of that. Another indicator of that is the obvious conclusion of rising interest rates. Mortgage collapse lower than where they were in the biggest financial scare in recent memory when the entire economy shut down during the pandemic lower no one can buy houses so we have a collapse in employment a collapse in housing on the horizon we also have just massive global disruptions our foreign neighbors just getting destroyed with the rising rates problem you have dollar rates volume and euro rates volume spiking up to global financial crisis levels in this chart Things are falling apart. The system is breaking. Interest payments as a percentage of GDP based on current yields. This comes from Gianluca. Absolutely skyrocketing. This is US government interest payments as a percent of GDP. So hasn't really been this high before. Disrupted. Even on the sovereign debt level, things are collapsing. We can't last much longer here. And so the question remains, is all this negativity priced in? Because if you look at this chart, you can see in white, the current stock market drawdown. And then you can see in yellow, the drawdown of 2008, just following the typical crash pattern, which is a slope of hope, right? And you have these short squeezes here and there. And the question is, will we get this last big meltdown like we did in 2008 in yellow? Is that on the horizon or is it all priced in already? That is the great question because you do currently have massive outflows from active funds. People are bearish. They get it. They don't want any more pain. They are leaving the stock market. Inflows to passive funds higher than outflows from active funds. So passive funds, you could argue, is the less informed money. You have you know, everyone's 401k dollars just slowly pumping into the market, keeping it afloat. But then you have active funds, people that are actually actively managing their money, just taking it out of the market, just crashing, super, super bearish. It doesn't get much more negative than this. And this is why the contrarian in me just really wants to be on the other side of the herd because worrying levels of short selling, we've covered this, abnormally high levels of short selling. It really doesn't last this high before some market manipulator whale decides to just squeeze the shorts, right? And absolutely crush the shorts. And so again, very difficult to go long here. Everyone in the world seems to think that we are about to enter a massive collapsing stock market. The fundamentals are pointing there, but we also know the market is centrally planned and manipulated. So one word from the Fed, maybe about peaking inflation, maybe about pausing inflation will cause this short squeeze to happen. And so it's a tough market to trade. Obviously, it's good to stay hedged and maintain exposure to your massively high quality, high upside assets. 
And so what everything is pointing to in the charts I just showed is a deflationary depression situation. That is what the Federal Reserve's mission has been the entire time, to crush inflation. And so it seems like we are slowly but surely getting there. The problem now is just how sticky it is, the geopolitical supply disruptions. Are they going to be with us for a long time? Europe is in an absolute mess, just cutting off Russian imports, really spiking energy costs, which is obviously the biggest input to inflation. So we have this chart. By October, the U.S. Strategic Petroleum Reserve will shrink to a 40-year low as the White House taps it to put a lid on global oil prices. So they've done everything they can to try to lower inflation by just draining our reserve. And gas prices are still going up. We're heading into a mean winter. This could be the worst case scenario for all financial assets because we're, we could have sticky high inflation because of the obvious disruptions, because the USA refuses to produce our own energy and is begging Saudi Arabia for fossil fuels, right? Not turning out very well. And so there's a lot of unknowns here, but very interesting charts, terrible fundamentals, Sticky inflation, people short heavily, setting up for a potentially ripe short-term short squeeze like I've been talking about, crashing along this slope of hope, lots to stay on top of, and we will continue to do so. This discussion is for informational purposes only. Please consult a certified financial planner when making any decisions about investing and do your own research before making any decisions. Investments are risky and you can lose lots of money in them.